You have a vision for your own website, a portfolio, a service page, maybe even something more dynamic. In the past, bringing that idea to life often meant either learning the full stack of web development or hiring a professional team. But now, with tools like Lumi, there's a new option. You can describe your idea in plain language and AI helps you build it instantly, while still giving you the freedom to customize every detail. From generating a complete layout to letting you refine the design with live editing, animations, and even 3D models, Lumi gives you tools to shape your site exactly how you want. And it doesn't stop at design. With the workspace, you can go deeper, manage your users, handle data dynamically, set up email services, store files securely, connect domains, and fine-tune security and settings all in one place. It's about turning your creativity into something real faster than ever before while keeping you in control. So without further ado, let's dive right in and get started. This is Lumi's official website, and I've put the link for you down below in the description. Just click that link to try Lumi, and don't forget to use the special discount code you'll find there to get a nice saving on your plan. Right in the center of the screen, you'll notice this chat box. This is where the magic happens. Instead of dragging and dropping elements manually, like in a traditional website builder, Lumi works in a conversational way. You simply type what you want, and Lumi will generate it for you automatically. At the bottom, we have some additional options that really set Lumi apart from its competitors. Let's start with the styling option. This isn't just a color picker or a theme selector like you see in most site builders. Here, you get access to a full styling library. Think of it as pre-built design systems you can instantly apply to your project. What's even better is that you can preview each style before committing. For example, here's the Neo-Brutalism style. Very bold, very modern. And if you want something more futuristic, they've even included a cyberpunk theme. For beginners, this is a huge time saver because instead of worrying about typography, spacing, or color palettes, you can start with a solid design foundation and then refine from there. Next up is the toolbox, and this is where Lumi really shines. Most AI web generators out there will only give you a front-end mock-up, basically a static layout that looks nice but doesn't actually do much. Lumi, on the other hand, goes deeper. It gives you a working application with back-end functionality included. Inside the toolbox, you can manage structured data securely using Lumi databases. That means you can set up collections, store information, and connect it directly to your site without having to learn SQL or manage servers. Add login and user management. This is a game changer. Imagine building a portfolio or SaaS landing page where visitors can sign up, create accounts, or log in. Lumi takes care of the heavy lifting. Track visitor behavior with built-in dashboards. Instead of manually setting up Google Analytics or other tools, Lumi gives you a direct way to understand how people are interacting with your site. Send emails to your website's users. This costs half a credit per email, but it's integrated, so you don't have to configure a separate service like SendGrid or MailChimp. Enable file storage. This adds secure cloud storage directly to your website. For example, if you're building a portfolio where clients need to upload documents or media, you can handle that seamlessly. These features are things that typically require multiple services stitched together in a traditional development workflow. Database hosting, authentication, analytics, email services, storage, but Lumi gives you all of that in one place, accessible through simple conversation. Now let's move on to the other options. We have the Prompt Playbook, which is basically a library of proven prompt templates. Then we have the Prompt Enhancer. And finally, we have the File Upload option, which lets you bring in assets from your computer or even pick from Lumi's built-in library, which we will explore later on. So in this video, we will try to create a personal portfolio website. Now let's test the Prompt Enhancer option. Perfect. As you can see, it converted our prompt into a more detailed and clear version. This is really useful because the clearer your prompt is, the better Lumi can understand your vision. You could go ahead and describe your idea, enhance it step by step, and continue building and developing your project with Lumi through simple conversation. Lumi listens, refines, and updates your site in real time, so you're not stuck with a static design. You're actively shaping it as you go. But for this tutorial, I've prepared a fully detailed prompt that will generate a solid portfolio project and really challenge Lumi to its fullest. 
This prompt includes a structured layout, modern styling, and all the essential sections you'd expect in a professional portfolio. I've included the link to this prompt down below in the description box of this video, so you can use it too, but there are some customizations you should make before using it. For example, the name here, you should change it to your own name or brand. You can also adjust the overall theme. I originally set a dark theme with specific colors for different elements, but feel free to modify them to fit your style. The prompt instructs, build a personal portfolio website with the following features. I have defined the global settings, layout, and sections, including hero section, about section, skills section, services section, project section, testimonial section, contact section. At the end, we have final notes where you should also replace the placeholder name with your own. Now, simply copy the entire prompt, go back to Lumi, paste it in and click the button. And the generation starts. It usually takes around a minute to complete. As you can see, we're facing an error that's completely normal. If you encounter one or two errors, no worries at all. Just leave the debugging to AI by selecting Attempt Fix. Now Lumi will start analyzing and finding the issue. As you can see, it says, I see the issue. The build is failing because the services component file wasn't created in the previous artifact. Let me fix this by creating the missing services.tsx component. After it identifies the problem, it will automatically fix it for you. And finally, it's done generating. Let's take a look at the final result. It has used the exact theme and colors that we asked for, and it looks amazing. We have a clean header and a beautiful hero section. Next, there's a nice About Me section with a personal image on the left and information text on the right. You can simply replace that image with your own. Just use the selector option, choose the image container, upload your picture, and ask Lumi to replace the image in the About Me section with the one you've provided. Right below, it showcases our skills. And just under that, we have our Services section, which displays four modern service cards with a glowing hover effect. It looks really professional. Scrolling down, we reach the Projects section. As we scroll, each project's information smoothly fades into view with animations and a background image. Now it looks like our third project doesn't have a background image. No worries, we'll fix that in just a moment. Below that, we have the Testimonial section, and finally, the Contact section and footer. Now, I must say, there's no limit to how much you can customize or expand a project built with AI. You can change anything you want or add new functionality. For example, if you want these social media links to redirect users to your own pages, just give Lumi your LinkedIn URL and ask it to open that link in a new tab whenever the LinkedIn icon is clicked. Lumi will handle it for you. You can also toggle between discussion mode and build mode. If you want to make changes but don't know exactly how, you can simply talk with the AI and ask for help. Now, let's go ahead and fix that missing background image for our third project. Since this one is an AI dashboard project, we'll look for something related. Open Lumi's library of public assets. Here you'll find tons of high quality images that are free to use on your site. Let's search for AI related images. Choose the one that best fits your design, then click the insert button. Next, we'll say, use this image as the background image for the third project card in the project section. Then we submit. Lumi immediately starts processing, understands our request, and applies the change. And there it is. Scrolling down, we can now see the background image successfully added. Looks amazing, right? That's the beauty of it. Just describe what you want and leave the rest to AI. Now let's apply some changes to our hero section. Let's say we want to add a 3D model to the right side of the hero and move the text with the call to action button to the left. Just type, split the hero section into two columns, left with existing text and button, and right with the spline 3D model using this embed code. For the 3D model, you have a few options. You can either use an embed code from spline, upload and host your own custom 3D model, or even build the 3D effect directly inside Lumi itself. For example, this project here creates a 3D effect entirely with Lumi AI. You can choose whichever option works best for you, but for this tutorial, I'll be using Spline. 
So now, all we need is the embed code of the 3D model. To get that, open a new tab in your browser and go to spline.design. If you don't already have an account, sign up. It's completely free. Once you're in, look at the left dashboard and click on Community. Here you'll find tons of 3D models created by other users. You can choose any model you like, remix it, customize it, and make it your own. For this portfolio, I'm going to use a 3D cube model. I'll include the link to this model down below in the description box of the video. First, make sure to give it a like to support the creator, and then select the Remix option. This will open the model inside the spline editor. From the top, select Preview. At the top of that window, click on Export. Navigate to the Play settings. Here you have some options, like removing the spline logo, which is only available in the paid plan, but you still get other customization options. For now, let's say we want to hide the background. After making that change, scroll down and select Update Public URL. Once it updates, move back to the overview, and here you'll find the embed code. Copy that code. Now head back to Lumi, paste the embed code right into your prompt, and hit Submit. Lumi will start processing, and soon enough, your hero section will be split into two columns, text and button on the left, and your new 3D model on the right. Now it's done generating, but it looks like there's a problem. Our 3D model has been placed inside a container element, and that's causing a glass effect over it. To fix this, let's use the Selector option. With this tool, you can target the element you want and apply changes to it. So let's target the container. And there it is, it's a simple div element. Now let's type, remove the div element and place the 3D model absolutely. Remove any wrapper or container elements. That's it. Now let's see what happens. And there we go, just as I wanted. Let's view the page in a new tab. To do that, just select the link icon at the top. Looks amazing. But wait, it seems when we scroll down, the 3D model zooms out. We need to fix that inside the spline play settings for the model. Head back to spline, open the play settings and disable the zoom option. Then select update public URL. That should fix the issue. Now return to the website, refresh it, and there it is, working perfectly. Now let's say you've completed the project and want to make it live for the world to see. If it's your first time using Lumi, you're probably on the free plan like me. But no worries, you can still publish your project. Just select the Publish button at the top right. Lumi streamlines publishing to the web, letting you share your site with anyone. Once live, you can keep refining your site with instant updates and even connect a custom domain for a professional touch. Here you can also choose whether you want the project to be visible in Lumi's community or private. For the custom domain, you can either purchase one or add your existing domain if you already have one. So, let's publish this website. After submitting, it takes just a few seconds. And that's it. Our project is now live. You can copy the link, share it on your social apps, or send it directly to your customers and friends. Finally, let's explore one of the most powerful and useful features Lumi has to offer, the workspace. Inside Lumi, the workspace is your project's central control room. Everything you need to manage, customize, and grow your app lives here, organized into different sections that keep things clear and easy to navigate. We have Overview, and that shows you all the essential analytics for your project at a glance. Here you can track your total views, visits, unique visitors, bounce rate, and even the average visit duration. You can filter the data, for example, by the last 24 hours, and dig deeper into details like where your visitors are coming from, what browsers or operating systems they're using, what devices they're on, and even the countries they're visiting from. Uh, it gives you a clear picture of how your site is performing and how people are interacting with it. Next is Users. And this section shows you the people who have access to or are connected with your project. Here you can see their name, email address, and the time they were created or added. For example, you might see your own account listed with the email you signed up with. This makes it easy to keep track of who is part of your project. 
At the moment, there's no data here and our email service is empty. This section shows you your tool credits and usage. For example, how many emails this project has used and how many are still remaining. Next, we have file storage. This section is where all the files related to your project are managed. For security and privacy, users are required to log into your website before they can upload any files. We can also view the project's code, but it sounds like that currently there is no an option to download the code. Below, we have also other options like domains, security, and settings. Altogether, the workspace is designed to be both beginner-friendly and professional-grade. Each section has a clear purpose, and together they give you everything you need to run a complete web app without leaving Lumi. Before we wrap up, it's worth mentioning that Lumi is actively working on some exciting new features. Soon, you'll have Visual Edit, which lets you directly change text, images, or button colors just by selecting them. No need to go through chat or use credits. And Lumi will also support Stripe integration, so you'll be able to connect payments directly through chat, turn your ideas into real revenue. These updates are right around the corner, making Lumi even more powerful. That concludes today's tutorial. Go ahead and try Lumi for yourself and explore its powerful features. If you run into any challenges or if something wasn't clear, feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.